Ashley Howard with Ashley Howard Teaches, and today we are looking at CC Cycle 1 Week 20 Memory Week. So let's get started. So for geography this week, we're talking about Canada. So I love to put a picture of the Canadian flag up with the big maple leaf. So for one of our cycles, we talk about Canada and how the maple leaf is the symbol of Canada. So this is great to point out to further that memory work. So I like to put that on my board. I also like to tell them a few interesting facts about Canada, how it has the longest coastline in the world, and there are two official languages of Canada. There's French and English. So it's kind of fun to give some of those background facts. Now for geography this week to make it fun, I like to pass out Fruit Loops to put on the map. So these are kind of fun, and what I love to do is put one down and I give them a straw and they can blow their Fruit Loop to the next location. So that's kind of a fun one. I kind of say that to the end. First we'll trace and erase like usual and then dot our different locations. And then we say something fun for the very end to make it hands-on and exciting. That's one way you can make geography fun. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I love to hear your comments too, so let me know about those below. Also, don't forget to head over to my website to find my beginning Spanish printable. You will find it there. Also, you can find a way to do one-on-one -on -one homeschool consultation, and I would love to hear from you on that also. So let's move on to English. So for English this week, we are talking about linking verbs. So we will sing this to the tune of Father Abraham. And what I like to do is have them clap as we sing this. So we'll start out singing kind of slow to the tune of Father Abraham. And then as we go on, we'll go faster and faster as we sing and we clap. So by the end of it, we're almost singing too fast where you can't understand the words and it's super fun. So we'll go through that. That'll take us through our seven times. Now, if your kids are getting too wild, too crazy, we might try throwing in a whisper or maybe some jumping jacks or maybe some run in place just to kind of vary it and make it fun. But those are fun ways to do English. So let's move on to science. So for science this week, we are doing parts of the atmosphere. Now this one has some long words in it, like troposphere, hydrosphere. So how do we help these children, sweet, sweet children, to remember these words? So I like to do it to the tune of Jingle Bells. So it will sound something like this. Troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere. So for hand motions this week, for troposphere, we are going to think about the tropics and how hot they are. So we'll go like this for troposphere. And then for stratosphere, we're going to pounce around like a rat. So it sounds kind of like rat. So we're gonna kind of go like this and crawl around like this. So we'll go stratosphere like this. And then for mesosphere, we're going, this one will make them laugh. We're gonna make a big mess. Mesosphere like this. And then for thermosphere, we're going to make, pretend like we're putting our favorite drink in our thermos. So we're gonna go thermosphere like this. And then for exosphere, we're gonna make a giant X with our arms. So we're gonna go exosphere like this. So those are our hand motions. Now I would suggest doing the hand motions first because that really helps to get in their memory and then try the jingle bells after that. So I would try a couple times with our hand motions, then a couple times singing the song, and then maybe a couple times putting them both together. So you really help them to learn those words and remember them. So let's move on to history. So for history this week, we are going to talk about the Mexican Revolution. So we'll start with circa. So for circa, which means around, we're going to go like this. And then for 1910, we're going to go like this and put 10 fingers up. You can ask a friend to give them each other a 10 instead of a high five, a 10. That's kind of a fun way to do it too. So then for revolution, we're going to go like this and make our arms revolve around each other, revolution. And then for via, we're going to make a giant V with our arms like this. Then for zapata, it sounds almost like the Spanish word zapato, which means shoe. So we're going to point to our feet like this. And then for font, we're gonna get out our swords and go like this. 
And then for Land and Liberty, the fun thing to do for this is to get a big poster board and write Land on one and Liberty on another poster board. And you'll put those out in the middle of a room. And so when they, you tell them, when they get to Land, they're gonna run to Land and then they're going to run to Liberty. So that kind of mixes it up too. So if you don't have room in your classroom, that's okay, you can make a L for land and then for liberty, you can pretend like you're the statue and like this for the Statue of Liberty and make this sign right here. So those are two fun ways to do it. Let's move on to math. So what I like to do for math this week is get my painter's tape out and make a giant circle in my room. And so we'll talk, we'll go through the geometry song and if you don't have that, it's not mine, but I will leave the link down below in the description so that you can find that song because it's a great song for geometry. So what we'll do is we'll start off on the circle and we'll sing our geometry song and we'll march around the circle. We'll jump in and out of the circle. It's just kind of a fun way, a hands-on way for a visual for them to learn their math this week. So for hand motions for circumference of a circle, we're gonna go the circumference of and we're gonna make a giant circle. And then for equals, we're gonna go like this. And then we're gonna go two. And then for times, and then we're gonna eat our pie like this. And then we're gonna make the sign language R for radius. And we'll go through that quicker and quicker each time they learn that. It's so easy with the geometry song too. So sometimes if I feel like, oh my word, they're getting mixed up on the hand motions, then I'll just drop that and we'll just go through the song because that is the most important part. Not them learning the hand motions, but them understanding the information and memorizing that information. So don't forget to kind of let it go. If those hand motions are confusing everybody, just let it go. Let's move on to Latin. For Super Latin this week, we are doing four declension noun endings. And we will start with various. So I like to, like I said before, I like to really help them to remember the first one of each one. So when I go through, and this is helpful for review, so when I go to review, I'm always going to ask them, what's the first one for first declensions? What's the first one for second declensions? What's the first one for third declensions? Because I, they usually can remember the song. They just struggle remembering, what's that first one that it starts with, and then I can sing the song. So if you really get it in their head, and this is help for Memory Master too, with that first one is they can usually pull it together and remember the song. So for this one I'm going to do the traditional pull actions out of a bag and we'll pull it out and do it in different voices, do it in different funny actions and different things like that. So that's a fun one to do. So that is what I like to do for Latin. So now we move on to review. So as we head into these final weeks of CC, I like to make my time super fun with them because I know that we only have a little time left, but I want to make this review good because I know some of these students are going for Memory Master and I want them to learn well. So for review this week, I wanted to give you a couple ideas. Sometimes I wanna have kind of a quiet class and review quietly and get more done because I know that if we're doing kind of a quieter activity, we can move a little bit faster. So for that one, I like to hand out Legos. So every time they answer a question, they get like a little pile of Legos and they can put their thing together. So I like to do that one. I also like to draw a picture. So we'll all draw the same picture together. It might be a flower, it might be an animal. And I'll say, okay, first draw the head of your animal. And then after we answer the next review question, you can add the eyes and so we'll color eyes. So they're kind of sitting down, listening, doing some quiet listening, and that's a good one too. But if we're doing more fun and more exciting, putting three figures on one side of the table, three figures on the other side, and then you have two teams and they line up on each side and then they try to knock the other person's figures down. So they'll go one at a time and they get to bounce the ball and everybody watches and then they try to knock down one of the figures. So it's super simple, but it's super easy. And then if you knock down a figure, you get to pick out a prize. Now I like to have really simple prizes like pencils or stickers, just some fun little stuff. You don't have to do that. It just makes them more involved. I also love to do musical chairs because you can play the review music while you're doing it and stop as you go along. And sometimes I like to tape a prize sheet underneath. So I'll say, everybody look look underneath your chair. One of the chairs has a prize underneath it and they'll see the prize under there. Or you can also use 
felt squares as your musical chairs and you can put a prize under a couple of them and then when you say okay everybody lift up your mat and they'll find a prize under there so that's kind of a fun way to bring in some more excitement into their game also so I am so glad that you stopped by so let me know in the comments below your favorite review game I would love to hear your ideas that always brings me so much joy to hear new ideas about review so thank you so much for stopping by if you have not subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button that helps so much for you to keep getting that content that you love all right thank you so much and I will see you next time goodbye